And as school is back in session for some and about to go back in, um, you know, little kids start dreaming about what they want to be when they grow up. And I remember my oldest son especially, and I had to have that reality talk with him. He wanted to be a major league baseball player. Okay. And so I was like, absolutely. I'm not a dream squasher. But at the same time, as he got older, you have to put a little dose of reality in that, that, you know, only this little teeny tiny percent um, that actually works out for so let's have a backup plan and I told him you know maybe be a physician for a team and then you can go to all the games and be part of it but like a medical trainer yeah 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 but okay be the team physician which would be super cool you're making bank and you get to see all the games you're making bank yeah listen to mama here <laughs> you're gonna make bank here right taking care of the high school students exactly. on the football team is what you're gonna be doing <laughs> Ben was what one of our producers. Ben, you you it was something with music. Yeah, back in the day, uh, I thought about being a drummer. Like I've always loved, you know, rhythm and music and all that. So that's kind of what I was feeling when I was like six, seven. What do you do with that today? Um, I mean, I still love music, and I I play piano and like I'm on my keyboard and stuff. So you know, I still use it in different ways like that. But I've always been enthralled with music in general, but mainly drumming. I did not know you knew how to play the piano or play drums. Same. Yeah. Same. We have like a His Radio Chapel on Mondays. You need to play. Bring a keyboard. Yeah, I'm man. There. I'm there. Yeah, good. That is awesome. That would so. be so good. I'm <laughs> I'm thinking Jake wanted to be a superhero. Um. Yeah, I wanted to be Spider-Man. For real? <gasps> For real. I nailed that one. I know. And well, Spider-Man makes sense, why, for sure. Why Spider-Man? Because Spider-Man is like low-key, nobody knows who he is under the mask, and he has webs, he can, he has super strength, he can swing through like buildings, and he's basically like dope, he's a nerd, so he's relatable. He's dope and a nerd. Yes, and he's young. <laughs> he's like the youngest superhero, right? And yes. so, yeah, and he has a childlike is spirit. It, is it high school or college, or does it depend on the universe? Um, It's in high school. Okay. I mean, it could yeah. be in college, because he is in college in some of them, but he started off in high school. High school as Superman. And those that are playing him are around 40. Right? So, <laughs> And I feel like Scott wants something to do with Tang. Yeah. I wanted to be an astronaut as a kid so I could drink the Tang. You know, that orange beverage was popular for a long time. <laughs> that was the whole thing. I want to be an astronaut because I want to drink Tang. And don't forget, and don't forget this, <laughs> a, this ice cream that they talked about in space that the astronauts took. And so I was like, man, if I could drink Tang and eat ice cream, I want to be an astronaut. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a veterinarian. That dream didn't come true, but today I do own a goat farm with 12 goats and a couple big dogs and bunnies and a couple cats. So I do have a, what's called the Jolly Ranch, uh, and I'm happy to take care of all the animals because I love animals. It's very clear you love animals, and while you're not a vet, oh, my word. I, I love the name, Jolly Ranch. I know, right? And I want to visit this ranch for sure because that sounds like so much fun. But I think a lot of those, you know, not to necessarily a job, but what you want to be when you're a kid certainly follow you your entire life. A dozen goats, a couple of dogs, bunnies, she said. She said bunnies. And cats. And cats. Or some That's birds. A lot we of need animals. some birds. Birds. Some emu. I'm, peacock. Emu. Peacock. We need peacock. She's really starting to really grow your farm there. Robin Liz. His morning crew. Okay, so while you wait out the store, maybe enjoy some ice cream. Turkey Hill, and I love Turkey Hill's mint chocolate chip. It's not my favorite flavor in the world, but Turkey Hill, ooh, they have a new Barbie flavor. They actually have two Barbie flavors. <laughs> Which, you know, it doesn't taste like plastic, um, but there is a strawberry marshmallow and a frosted cupcake. What did you version. call the brand? Turkey? Turkey Hill. Never heard of it. Really? Seriously, yeah, never heard of it. Oh, yeah, Turkey Hill. It's, it's been around for a while, I guess, but I've only ever tried the mint chocolate chip, and it's good. What grocery store are they at? I think they have it at Food Lion for sure, and I've seen it at different stores, but I think the Barbie is only going to be available from what I understand, around here at uh, Food Lion. It is. Yeah. Okay. Well, so it's pink. enjoy. But it's pink.
pink. Pink ice cream. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, one of them is pink. So the strawberry marshmallow is pink, and then it has ribbons of marshmallow in it. And the other one does not sound appealing to me because I don't like, like birthday cake ice cream has ribbons of icing in it. Okay. Oh, it's just so much. I mean, maybe one spoonful and then oh, take a nap. <laughs> and then she is done. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's milk and cookies. Oh, it's so good. That does sound good. I wonder if it has chunks of cookies in it. The Ben and Jerry's milk and cookies? You yeah. would think. Well, there's a yogurt that I like to buy. And they have a flavor that comes in the great big pack that I get at Sam's. And it's milk and cookies. And it's not good because it doesn't have cookies in it. What? It doesn't. It's just like it makes you think there's little cookies in it because it's kind of speckled. Does it know? Does it taste like cookies? I don't think so. What does it taste like? Just plain old yogurt. Yogurt? Yeah. Kind of with a... Mm? Kind of like I'm like, I don't even Just want not it. The same, no, know. and I know it's you know, it's healthy for me, so it's not gonna taste like an Oreo in my yogurt. But if you call it milk and cookies, it really should taste like it. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. I was reading about this one family that literally washes their fruits and vegetables. Get this. In the dishwasher. And not like with dishwashing detergent. I think they use some kind of oil vinegar. Not oil and vinegar. Like white vinegar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they use like white vinegar in it. So they've had this exchange. It gets me thinking. I wonder how many people really do this. I've never heard of this in my life. I just don't know because I feel like the dishwasher catches some junk. And every now and then, I don't know if you look in the bottom of your dishwasher, there's some stuff down in there. There can be. You yeah. have to keep it clean. The dishwasher that I have has like a, uh, a, a disposal in it, like a garbage disposal in it. In the dishwasher? Yeah. It, it takes care of it right there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Which is really cool. Yeah. And I think that Scott washes his fish in his dishwasher. I don't do fruit, but now I've heard people rave about salmon in the dishwasher. Is this not crazy? So I, I dug up the uh, recipe this morning to double check. You put it on the top rack. You wrap the fish with a little bit of like herbs and olive oil and foil. Run a normal wash and dry cycle. And they say you come out with the perfect steamed or poached salmon. You mean they cook it in there, not they wash it, it, but they cook they it in the dishwasher. It. Yeah, That's they cook interesting. it. Interesting. Uh-huh. I am speechless, quite honestly. <laughs> Hold I prefer on, to grill mine. Right? I've never tried this. I, I like the hmm. grill version better, but uh, I like salmon. they say it tastes really good. Salmon's good in the air fryer. That's different. I would never put salmon in the microwave, so I don't think I'll be doing it in Mm-mm. the dishwasher. Yeah, but I get it with the whole steaming and oh, the hot sure. water and stuff like that. You get a but... nice facial when you open that bad boy. <laughs> Rob and Liz, his morning crew. We all learned of who Jody Benson was because that was the voice of the Little Mermaid. Robin Liz is radio. Now her daughter Delaney. It's 2024, some lots of years later. She is now performing as Ariel, the Little Mermaid, in a musical. And her mom couldn't be so much more proud. It's like full circle. It stayed in the family. I know. I, I love this. And uh, The Little Mermaid, one of my favorite movies of all time. I remember watching it with my daughter and singing, you know, all the songs and where she talks to Scuttle about what is the fork and what is, you know, the different things. Uh, and now her daughter, who is gorgeous and sings really just like Mama, that she's on stage with this. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's like almost like the family business. If you have a family business and you think, okay, when I have my children, they're going to follow in my footsteps. That's kind of what happened here. And it makes me think, what was Delaney's thought when she was like, I'm going to try out to be the Little Mermaid because this this was my mom's role. And it is big shoes to step in. Right. But I think she had to be super confident. And also, like mom, Jody Benson, showed up um, at the uh, premiere of the this musical and so i feel like she had the full support of mom going you can do it and you can knock it out of the park rob and liz his morning crew it's rob and liz in the morning his radio hey pray for vanessa vanessa lives in the yukon and she likes to run in the morning and the yukon there's a lot of nothing you know where yeah. she is and so she's on her her daily routine she's running down the same path she always runs down her dog is with her and runs with her every day. All of a sudden, she came upon one grizzly bear. The dog chased it away. Another grizzly bear. The dog chased that one away. The third grizzly bear, oh, no. This one came after Vanessa. Oh, my I goodness. I mean, just 
went after her. She went in the fetal position, but she got hurt because the bear did go after her. But when the bear got to the hair clip that was in her hair, the hair clip snapped in this bear's mouth and it startled him. She was able to crawl away, get behind a tree. And when the bear got his bearings back, started to go after her again. And then her dog barked really loud and chased the bear away. And so it was the hair clip and her dog that saved her life because she was she was hurt you know she's she's out of the hospital she got like a broke arm and her triceps hurt and things like that she's up and walking she's going to be running again cuz she's like not afraid good, good, of all good, this good. stuff so uh, that none of that is there but she's like man if god didn't use this hair clip my dog, I don't think I'd be here today. Be a lot different. It was kind of like that banana clip thing that we put in the back of our hair to hold our hair up. I have one. And I thought, man, these things are like $15 a piece. Well, I see why now. Fights off bear. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. It's an encouraging way to start your day. It's Rob and Liz in the morning, his radio. Here's this little pup. Well, I call it a pup. It's a dog. It's been astray for quite some time. All of a sudden, I don't think it wanted to be astray anymore because it saw one of those dog grooming trucks. It's called a pup bus. Oh. P-U-P bus. Yeah. Pup bus. And for some reason, he started to chase down this bus. He wanted to ride or a bath. <laughs> Get cleaned up a yeah, little bit, yeah. you know, on the pup bus. It's a doggy daycare uh, facility that has this dog pup bus that is so cool so it's almost like it goes up picks up dogs brings it back to the doggy daycare and gets a little groom all the stuff and so there's this one person her name is peace what a name mm -hmm. they have the name peace mm -hmm. that sees the dog chasing down the bus and so all of a sudden long story short the dog is hers <gasps> And she and Waylon, I believe that's the name of the dog <laughs> now, got into the bus and went home to its first time ever. That is so cool. Yeah, even Roy rides the bus off to the doggy daycare because now he stays there. Oh, he probably yeah. has some new friends, but I right? love that he got all cleaned up and then he went to his forever home. Isn't that nice? It is so sweet. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Just got back from camping, did a little three-day camping trip with the family. Yeah. Went to Lake Murray. Dryer Island was the name. It's like a state park. So we stayed out of that state park. It was just gorgeous, but we tent camp. Always wanted an RV, but we still have a tent. So we tent camp, and there's all these conveniences that all of a sudden are gone. Okay. Like, which one did you miss? Well, uh, air conditioning, number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huge convenience. And actually, there's not a lot of people on this globe that have air conditioning. That is a luxury. That's a comfort that we have. That's really a luxury when you compare it to the rest of the globe that we live on. Well, yeah, because we take it for granted, honestly. Like, you walk in the house, you expect air conditioning. You get in your car, you expect air conditioning. You go in the mall, and it's set to 8,500 degrees, and you're like, where's the air conditioning? Right, and owning more than one car, especially if you have multiple people in the family, like mom, dad, and the kids when it becomes time that they can drive to high school. Yeah, we have four in our right? family. Screens on windows, I had no idea was a luxury, but I it didn't is. Either. You know it what is. I didn't know was one? A disposal. I did not know until the fairly recently. The garbage disposal? Yes. Oh, I thought, yeah. See, I, I grew up with one, and we didn't have anything growing up, you know, money-wise. We didn't have those luxuries, but we had a disposal. So I thought... Everybody had one. Not so much. <laughs> no, no. Not when you start traveling. It's not everywhere, which is so crazy to think. And online, you think you can shop online just about anywhere. But no, that's a luxury that we have that's just not everywhere else. And water pressure, like in the shower. Oh, come on. Because you go some places and you're like, what in the world? I can't. And I have super thick hair. So without water pressure, it's really difficult to wash my hair. So. And I was thinking, I love hot water because when I took my first shower out of this camping ground that we were at, <laughs> it was cold. Oh. It was just backwards. I didn't know until oh. I tried it that it was bad. But the water pressure, ooh. Was it terrible? It was horrible. A little trickle? That's just, all you got? Just about. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. There's this gelato thing that's coming to Taco Bell. And Scott's like... I'm in. Well, it's around, I guess it's around the uh, Baja Blast beverage. And um, so my son, Josh, he's 12. 
He loves Baja Blast, and I do too. So uh, we go to Taco Bell, we get a snack, we have a Baja Blast, and since this uh, new dessert's coming out, we're going to try this too. You got a little while to wait. Doesn't come out till early September, but you can dream about it till till then. Yeah, I got a few weeks. Okay, you got a whole that's month. not too bad. You got a whole month. I will say it doesn't really look like a gelato. It looks more like an ice. But I don't know. I've only seen pictures of it. Is this Mountain Dew? It is. Baja Blast is a flavor of Mountain yeah. Dew. There is a recipe online that I saw where you can make your own Baja Blast. So you use like a blue Gatorade, some Mountain Dew, and I think a Sprite. And you so is that all together. always a gelato? No. Or is this new? It's new. The gelato is new. But the drink has been there. And you can buy Baja Blast in the stores too, right? You can. Okay. Yeah. The Mountain Dew version of it. Yeah, because that's who puts it out. Not the gelato mm. version that Taco Bell will have. But it's the Baja Blast Mountain Dew gelato. But what what's that got to do with tacos? That's my biggest thing. And gelato is Italian. It's not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm you trying know, to like, think here. I, that's what I thought. Yeah, so I don't Shouldn't understand. That be Olive Garden? You would think it would be yeah, Olive because Garden. Gelato is Italian. Yeah. Okay, so. You go to Rome and eat gelato. So you should get your, your bottomless salad. And soup for lunch with the, with with the, the gelato. Baja Gelato. <laughs> right. But I guess because Taco Bell's the only one that sells Baja Blast in their restaurants. They do? Yeah. Okay. So I think that's the reason. I don't think you can get Baja Blast at any other restaurant that I know of. So what other what other things that they can add to Taco Bell? Like French fries? So a little bit of France? Along is that, with is Italian? that from France? Robin Liz, his morning crew. So here's Dave. He's just about 30 years old. He's 28. He's tired of the online dating scene. You swipe left, you swipe right. How you do that? You can never find the the right one. What does he do? He puts up a billboard right near where he lives to find a date. So I think it says a couple of things. Um, you know, it gives a picture of what Dave looks like. He puts some of his attributes on his billboard. Um, also, Dave. Must have a deeper pocketbook than I do because he's paid for a billboard. <laughs> yeah. We're not talking like a leaderboard or a billboard on a website. We're talking the full billboard driving by on traffic outside that you see in your car. He even put a picture of his cat up there. <laughs> I love that, you know, you're passing it. Bucky's 181 miles, Chick-fil-A, two exits up. Dave needs a date. Robin Liz, his morning crew. You may have heard this. Spirit Airlines is making some changes. So instead of first class, it's go big. Instead of business class, it's go comfy. Instead of coach, it's go savvy. <laughs> I like go cheap better, but okay. It would be nice. Yeah. I mean, really cheap. Like, what? gone are the days of $25 flights somewhere. Well, sometimes you'll get this breaking news that this airline has $29 flight and i'm like where because i can't find it like it's across town basically <laughs> they have a seagull pick you up right that's about it but they're adding like wi-fi they're adding a free check bag which i do like that i don't care about the free snacks i always pack my own so you know that's not a big deal how do you pack your own because they'll take some of that stuff so at tsa if it's already in packaging like it'll be in my backpack or my handbag or something like that but not pre-packaging like you put in your own Ziploc bags. No, no, no. Because they take those. Yeah. Well, sometimes they don't always take that. Because I've had like a little Ziploc of almonds and things. And Why do they target me? They take your snacks? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't well, I guess they uh, look at him. He needs to be on a diet. Uh-oh. Robin Liz. His morning crew. Robin Liz in the morning, his radio. All the TV subscriptions that we have, I have a subscription where I get a free soda or coffee or drink like a couple of times a day if I want to. What's that got to do with TV? Okay. Well, it's a subscription. You for pay soda and coffee? Yeah. A subscription service for uh-huh. that? You pay one price for the month and then you can go to this one establishment two, three times a day and get What's the drinks. establishment? Panera. You can really? Yes. I had no idea. You get coffee and get tea and get my Diet Coke. So, yeah. Okay. So, it saves you a little money. However, I'm not ever, ever, ever going to pay for a subscription for my mouse, my computer mouse. Well, well why? You just Logi- go to the store, buy one. No, Logitech is uh, their CEO is talking about a subscription service for your mouse. 
for the mouse. And I'm like, why? why? So every time I click, if I don't have a subscription, it's going to start costing me. Uh, she said it's going to help us like uh, tap into AI. It'll help us write emails. It'll do things like this. A mouse? Yes. My so mouse she, does that already. It does because it goes to chat GPT or whatever. whatever it does. Yeah. Yes. But so she's saying there's going to be other features. It's going to be like she kind of likened it to our watch. Like if you have an Apple Watch or Fitbit or something like that. I'm like, but I don't pay a subscription for that. Like you just buy the watch. Yeah. That I mean, unless you add Peloton or you add Apple Fitness or those types of things. So is that what this mouse is going to be yeah she doesn't have a whole lot of here's what it's going to do and this is coming in the future but that is that's the next thing i guess hp has a subscription for their printers so you can print up to 20 pages a month and it includes ink as well oh well that's different it is different if you it's get giving you ink yes you get something tangible that is can be very expensive. Ink is crazy expensive. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm not paying for my mouse. No. Not at all. It's just a little clicky-click.